Okay, this is documenting um, a prototype of a battery tester using a Prius inverter. This is the Prius inverter, and I'm uh, using a power supply, a 60 volt power supply. It's maximum a little over 3 amps, but I'm going to um, buck that voltage down through the uh, inductor that's in the Prius inverter. Uh, using one of the motor phase uh, generator phase V because it has a current a Hall effect current sensor on there. Uh, this is a Arduino Dewey board mock-up shield that I'm working on and an analog device is um, uh, eight, eight analog to digital converter board in this example. I learned a lot doing this, but it's it's far from optimized. But I'll show you what it does. So right now, I have a, an eight kilohertz um, pulse width modulated wave going to the inverter, but uh, I don't have it enabled yet. But on the Android, which is talking via USB to the Arduino, if I turn on you start to see that the power supply is supplying current and now it's charging these uh, six batteries so it's only 20 volts on the batteries and 60 volts on the uh, power supply so I'm regulating current so three times the current so right now you got about you know 1.76 amps times three going into the batteries um, and you can see the the current switching through the inductor a lot of noise there. A lot of noise there. But as I can change this little slider on my Android tablet, the current goes up and down on the power supply, depending on the slider. And you can see the current is being regulated. So I got a little PI loop in the um, Arduino code here. So I learned uh, you know, how to use the Dewey, um, what the current sensor coming out of the Prius inverter looked like, and uh, it does, it's about 1 volt per 20 amps on the generator and about 1 volt per 40 amps on the motor phases. There's actually two inverters and in one inside the, this Prius package. So this will serve as the basis uh, for doing some buck boost battery testing um, I'm going to be able to charge move energy from one battery bank to another battery bank back and forth get some cycle testing going and also it's going to serve the basis for a motor controller as well um, all the components are here I can if I can measure current um, you know I can I can control the phases and uh, I should be able to come up with a motor control loop um, over time. So, thank you.